Shalom Aleichem, dear friends. I am your brother Mario Joseph from Philokalia with the London Reflection of 2021. Last few episodes we meditated why our blessings are blocked. And we were finding the reason one by one. And today we are going to find one more reason. Let me read that from the book of Sirach, chapter 28, verses 13 onwards. I repeat, the book of Sirach, chapter 28, verses 13 onwards. Curse is the whisperer and deceiver, for he has destroyed many who were at peace. So there is a curse in us because we have destroyed the peace of some people, which means we whisper, we go and tell a person saying that you are so and so said about you like this. Immediately they both had destroyed their peace. You know, they separated. The reason is I and reason is you. Many times in our family, we go around the family members and backbite about others. And very often we go to our friends and backbite others. Backbiting, murmuring, slandering, saying ill about someone is really brings curse in your life, in your family. Many times we are not blessed. We are doing job, we are doing business, we are doing hard work, we are earning a lot, but no, not sufficient. However we save, at the end of the day, we are empty. Not only that, we are taking all the medicines and we are taking all the care for our health, but still we are sick. We are taking care of children very well, but they are spoiled by their bad behavior. So many times we know that we are spiritual, we are doing many things, but there is no blessing. Why? Knowingly or unknowingly, you must have destroyed the peace of some people by your slander. Today, take a decision that if you have this habit of backbiting, murmuring, slandering, say sorry to the Lord. Whether it is the real fact things what you are saying or the fake thing what you are saying, you must say sorry. Because you may know something about Mario, it is what I have done. But if it is not good to someone else, you should not reveal it there. Only to the authority, for the safety of the country, for the safety of the society, you have the right to say. But to everyone going and saying and backbiting about everyone is absolutely wrong and that can bring curse in our life. Verses 14 onwards, let me read. Slanderer has shaken many and scattered them from nation to nation and destroyed strong cities and overturned the houses of great men. So even the strong cities and even the strong religion, even the strong community, all can be destroyed by the slanderer. I think almost all the politicians and all the social leaders, you know, they use that. If they need to gain something from other party, the best way they do is slander. If you look at the comments, what, how the people are writing under each talks, and if you look at the televisions and their debates and all, you will see how much they are slandering to destroy each one. It, it will bring curse in your life and in your family life, in your social life. Be careful. If you know that it will harm someone, try, to, try not to speak. And verses 15, slander has driven away courageous women and deprived them of the fruit of their toil. Whoever pays heed to the slanderer will not find rest, nor will he settle down in peace. And not only the slanderer will bring the curse, the one who is listening that slander also will bring curse. So Bible says if you have the habit of listening evil about others, you will lose the peace and you will never be at peace. Two things Bible says, you will never get rest and peace. You will never get rest and peace. So if you want to be comfortable and if you want to be at ease, never listen to the slanderer. So we have the habit when you are looking at the preaching of a preacher, immediately you go to the comment to see the slandering verses used by some other people. So if you have the habit of reading comment, then listening to talk, shut your mouth today because if you have the habit of listening evil things about others, whether what they have done or what they have not done, if you have the habit of knowing their secrecy, say sorry to the Lord, you will never be at peace if you do not say sorry to the Lord and if you do not stop this evil habit from your life. Verses 18, many have fallen by the edge of the sword, but not so many as have fallen because of the tongue. 
you see if you look at the history of the world through the war many thousands died but more than that lakhs and millions died with the tongue of others because that can destroy your self esteem that can destroy your individuality that can destroy your family that can destroy your relationship that can destroy your job that can destroy your wealth that can destroy you many ways most of the destruction happened in our life just because of the tongue of someone in the family or in society in the working place so my brothers and sisters never kill anyone with your tongue verses 19 we read like this happy is the man who is protected from it who has not been exposed to its anger who has not borne its yoke and has not been bound with its fetter Bible says happy are the one who never speaks ill about others and who never hears ill about others if you don't have the habit of slandering if you don't have the habit of listening to slandering definitely you will be at peace and all the lost blessings will come to you so my brothers and sisters before binding this session what i want to tell you is today meditate about your habit how you use your tongue and how you use your ear if it is to hurt someone if it is to enjoy by hearing their negativity definitely it is a curse for us say sorry to the lord in this land and take a decision that you will never cultivate this habit hereafter again before binding the session i want to tell you my brothers and sisters when you are listening to me if the holy spirit inspires you to support our mission because we are really in need of some support to carry on this mission please use this accounts which is displayed here may almighty god bless you and peace be with you